Hey guys, it's Baban and today we're going to be having a look at how to make simple tiling patterns like these bricks in Manga Studio. Now if you look at your setup, you should see up the top this little tab here. So it should be on the side of this big block here where all your layers and everything are going to be. So it's just these little arrows here and if you press those it will pop out with all these materials. Now this is what we want to make, so what's already in it is just some simple patterns that already come with Manga Studio, like patterns and textures like these, so this brick one is one that I've already made and put down, so I'll just show you one of the ones that's already on it. So that's what one of the preset ones looks like, so this is what we're trying to make. Now if I get my bricks back up, uh, how do we condense this into one tile that we want to repeat? Now, the way I go about it is I'll do a basic drawing of the sort of shapes that I want to be making. So if I'm drawing bricks, what we're going to do is recreate this brick thing that I've done. So I'll draw these lines for the bricks and we're also going to have lines going down like this. And we're going to have ones overlapping like this. Now, what we want to do is figure out how much information we need to contain into this one tile to be able to repeat it and have it repeat the pattern. So, this is the basic shape of the bricks that we need. And this can be a bit difficult, uh, especially if you've got a really complicated pattern. But just to show you how I'd pick this sort of thing out, I'm going to need to show these lines going downwards and I'm also going to need to show this other line going downwards so that we get this sort of stair shape with the bricks. So what I like to do is just start carving out shapes like this and I like to keep it in a square so that it's easy to see. And I just carve it down a little bit more so I can condense it down to this little area here to be the least information that I need for the pattern to repeat and make this repeating brick pattern that I want. So I'll show you by just selecting this area that I've highlighted and then if I copy and paste it and again and I can get rid of this and then we've got the basic shape here and then if I drag this over to the side it gives me this repeat of bricks and if I grab this again I can move it over to this side and it's going to repeat that side and if I move it up to the top it's going to repeat up there and down the bottom it's going to repeat down there as well. So we can see from any angle this is going to repeat the pattern. And like I say, this is a bit difficult to really explain, but it's sort of something you have to look at and figure out yourself. But if you just draw yourself out a basic idea of the shape that you're going for, like this, and then you can block it out with the red square because you can always like pick away at it and figure out what you need and what you don't need to include. Uh, it's a bit easy to figure out then. So, okay. We figured out we need this much information. So what we're going to do is stay within this square we're going to have this as our sketch underneath make a new layer and i'm gonna draw in these lines neat it to make sure that they line up properly the way that we want them to in a straight line so that it tiles properly and make a new layer so that i can draw these lines over the top and then I can go and erase the bit in between because I still want this nice straight line and raise that in the middle and like on the example I've already done that I showed you I'm just gonna ease out these corners so they're not as squared make the bricks a little bit rounder okay so that's the basic information that we need and I'm gonna layer that down so that it's all on one layer like this and um, so that I can reselect this underneath I'm gonna make a layer underneath and just fill that in so that I can always reselect it 
seeing as I'm painting inside of a canvas and it's not stretching all the way out to the edges. So I've still got this collected. Selected, I mean. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is take this layer that this is drawn on, just the cleaned up brick layer, and we're gonna take that layer and we're gonna drag it up onto this line of materials and drop it in there. And because we've got this space selected, you can see it's only given us what was selected there. So then we've got this little chunk of bricks. So if we double click it, it comes up with menu for us to name it and I'm gonna name it brick pattern. And you can see here, there is one little option that says tiling. So we're gonna click tiling and OK, and get rid of these layers for a minute. Now you can see up here the little icon has changed a little bit, so we've got a bit more of the design because it's showing that it tiles. And we select this, and I'm going to pick this and drag it over onto our canvas. And there we go, we've got a really simple brick pattern that we are able to use, and you can see that everything lines up perfectly because we've took the time to figure out where everything lines up and to draw the nice straight lines to get it all to work. Now what you might want to do, uh, you can change the size of this as well, but what you might want to do is not have just this flat vertical horizontal shape with all of these bricks and because we're using a pattern, uh, if I just pull this out a little bit, you can see here it's registering as one of these materials. So you'll have this little icon here that's got like a little cube in the corner. And that's not what we want. So what we're doing first is playing about with the size to get it to the size that we want. And then to be able to actually mess around with this and change it a little bit, what we're gonna do is right click on this layer that we've got and what we want to go down to is rasterize which is down here and we're going to click rasterize and what that's going to do is just turn it into a normal layer so now what i can do is i can put my transparency lock on i can pick a different color i can change the color of these lines i can do whatever i want to do but it's just going to be a flat layer now so if I start trying to change the size of it now it's going to get like a little bit grittier if I blow it up or shrink it down but the one thing I want to show you that I tend to use in my stuff a lot is if I draw a block like this quickly say we've got a wall and this blue thing is the wall we want to put bricks onto the wall so that it looks like it's got a texture if we just have the wall facing us straight on like this, then the bricks look fine on it. But we want to have a wall that has a bit of perspective to it. So it's going this way into the background. So we transform that. Now what we want to do with these bricks to get them to fit onto this wall, take a square selection and we want to grab this corner and we want to drag it over the size that the square was originally or if you don't know what it would have been originally we want to just grab these two corners closest to us and drag it over a little bit. Now we don't want to go right down to where it's gone to because that's going to uh, warp it a little bit. We want these bricks to be about the same size as this wall if it was facing us straight on. So I'm going to go there. And so we've got this area of bricks selected and I'm going to transform and free transform. So that allows us to do these bricks. What I did to this blue wall shape and I can just pull them in like that 
and yes and this is all in the same layer now and what I can do to get rid of the rest of these bricks is selection and then invert selected area and backspace and there we go we've got a little brick wall <laughs> Now that is a really, really simple pattern, but you can see uh, down here, I've got a load of uh, different stuff that I've made, like um, more complicated patterns, like, drag some on to show you. I've got this one that's sort of like a brain pattern, because I wanted to, uh, I think I was still trying to figure out how to get all the patterns and everything to work when I did this one. Um, I've got simple ones that are like a couple of pictures put together and then made into a pattern like with these little mushroom fellas. I say little mushroom fellas, they're rather large, but yeah just like little collections of pictures like this put into a tile and pattern by figuring out, you can see uh, the lines of this tiling here, just figuring out the least information that I need for them to repeat ones like this but the important thing is you've got to flatten everything down onto one layer um, before you can make it into one of these patterns but once you figure out how to do it with something little like these bricks you can start using that to make more complicated stuff also like these fishies that I made last year so there's, there's like a whole lot of stuff going on but it all tiles together into this one pattern that repeats itself. Hey hey guys, thanks for watching, I hope this helped. If it did, give us a like, share if you think it'll help someone else and subscribe for new videos on Fridays. There's a link down in the description to our Discord so you can come and chat out shit with us and there's also links to my commission info and where you can buy prints and stuff that I've drawn. And here's some videos where you can see me actually using some of these patterns in different illustrations. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.